Hello there, today we'll be learning how to convert 360 video if for use in a star lab using Adobe After Effects. So to begin, you will click New Composition from Footage. As you can see, we will import our file, in this case an HDR, as a 360 image. And as a result, this will create our composition with our footage already inside. Now, this image does not look like a flat image you would normally see, as this is a 360 image and it's essentially just stretching the entire image out over the 2 by one frame. So, to fix this and make it viewable in a star lab, you'll go to Effects and Presets, type in VR Converter. Now, to use this effect, you do need a GPU, but if you have one, you simply drag this onto your footage and in this panel over here, you'll see a little GUI pop up. Now, you have two fields that we'll begin messing with, input and output. For input, we will put equirectangular 2x1, as this is a 2x1 image, and the equirectangular format is standard for most 360 cameras, such as the Insta361X. Under output, we will click fisheye slash full dome. This will essentially allow us to use a fisheye projector lens to project this image over our star lab. So, as you notice, there are some oddities to this. The center of the image should be the zenith of your star lab. However, this simply shows the end of the road, which as of right now would be the ceiling of the star lab. Star lab. To fix this, we will go under reorient camera view and change the x-axis tilt to 90 degrees. As you see, this rotated the camera up so that the zenith of the star lab will correspond with the top of our image. So, now there are a few other things we can fix, such as adjusting this FOV slider slightly. If we adjust it too much, you get some relatively interesting effects that are impractical for viewing a star lab. However, if we adjust in moderation, so, you know, adjusting from 180 degrees to about 187, um, you will begin to see that we can see the road, but it's still a small enough field of view that we don't end up with any distortion. So to export this footage, we will simply go to File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Now this will take a little bit to hop over. This will automatically open up the app and it will take a little bit, but in a few seconds, we should have our project show up in the Media Encoder. Now, if we go into this dropdown, since we are exporting as an image and not a video, if we wanted to keep it as a video, we would hit, simply hit this play button. We will go all the way down to PNG, and it will be set automatically to our needed settings. Now under output file, we can click this, and it will allow us to choose our output file. For example, I decide to export to the desktop. Next is exporting. Exporting is relatively simple. You just hit start queue return. Now this will take a bit connected to the dynamic link server. However, we will just need to terminate this quite early because this is a 30 second comp running at 30 frames per second, meaning that we'll be exporting 30 images per second, leading to a grand total of 900 images. Now we could have set this to a one frame long comp. However, this is also suitable. We can just simply, okay, see that we have begun exporting and we can check our desktop. Yes, we have an image. Yes, we have a completed image. So we can simply go to our export file, hit stop, do not finish the current file before the queue stops, and give it a minute. So from here, we can go into our image, and this will take a bit to load and put it into full screen. Now, this is not the most viewable photo viewer for a star lab. However, as you can see, we have our image properly distorted so that the bottom side of the image will work perfectly with star lab. For video, this is a much simpler process. You just hit export. That is all I have to, for today and hope to see you guys in another video.